Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Here I am again with yet another model. This time we are going to install this intern video 2.5 chat 8 billion model which you can use to decipher or do the vision tasks on videos. I have been covering these intern VL model from open gv lab for quite some time if you go to my channel and search it you will see that i have been covering them from the word go always uh, i have found their model to be quite good quality though they haven't really broken the extraordinary barrier but still i believe that from the start they have been trying very hard to produce some good quality models so i'm very curious to see how this new model from their series look like because the benchmark information on the hugging face card is quite interesting plus there are a couple of key concepts which have caught my eye so before i show you the installation and we play around with it let me discuss those concepts because uh, due to those concepts i think this model might be quite good now as i said this intern video 2.5 is a multi-modal llm that has been enhanced with long and rich context modeling or lrc modeling it is designed to improve the ability of m llms to perceive fine grain details and capture long form temporal structures in videos and that is what makes me more excited about this model if you go through their paper and their model card there are four key features which jump out first as i mentioned this lrc modeling second one is dense vision task annotations so this model uses direct preference optimization or dpo to transfer extensive dense visualization annotations into m llms utilizing vision expert model as preference model at that makes it more grounded to human preferences third feature which seems quite interesting is that it employs adaptive hierarchical token compression or hico to process extended multimodal context compressing multimodal tokens both visually and semantically that brings in a new level of efficiency fourth and final it has got improved video understanding and that is mostly related to benchmarks but instead of relying on benchmarks we will test it out on our own videos so now you know what this model is let's try to get it installed and before that as usual let me give a huge thanks to our friends at mast compute if you're looking to rent a gpu on very very affordable prices you can find the link to their website with a discount coupon of 50 percent on range of gpus this is the vm which i'm going to use and this is my gpu card nvidia rtx 6000 with 48 gpu of vram courtesy mast compute let me create a virtual environment with conda and then we will proceed further and now let me install all the requirements so requirements are quite a lot here so we need to install cuda we need to install torch torch vision transformer and few other stuff especially we need to install flash attention towards the end and make sure that you are using a later version of nvidia's gpu cards like ampere or hopper series because only they support flash attention and that really increases the efficiency and speed of this model so this is going to take five minutes or so let's wait and meanwhile let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agentbot agentbot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description okay so let's wait for these things to get installed and then we will proceed further and now let me launch my jupyter notebook and now let's download our model and the tokenizer and the model has been um, has started to get downloaded if i scroll down quickly and you can see there are four shards of it so which is quite cool for a video model 8 billion size four shards with a standard size of under 5 gig so let's wait for it to get downloaded and the last shard is being downloaded and now let's try to do the inference let me paste the code 
Now don't get scared by all of this code. Let me try to explain what is happening here. And by the way, this is all present in their Hugging Face repo. So don't worry about the code. Now, first up, if you see this, what this code is doing overall, this code is designed to process video and image inputs for a multimodal AI model. In this case, we are using this intern wheel. Now, um, first up, you can see that we are defining this image net mean and image uh, net standard. So these are the mean and standard deviation values which are used to normalize pixel values in images based on the image net data set. So, and then we have various functions here, which are doing various things. So first up this build transport, uh, transform. This function creates a transformation pipeline for images using PyTorch and Torch Vision. It converts images to red, green, blue or RGB, resizes them to the specified input size and normalizes the pixel values using the mean and standard deviation of the ImageNet dataset. Then we have this find closest aspect ratio. When we say aspect ratio, the aspect ratio of an image or video is the ratio of its width to its height. And maintaining the aspect ratio during resizing ensures that the image or video is not distorted. And so this function finds the closest aspect ratio to the target aspect ratio from a set of possible ratios. It then calculates the difference between the target aspect ratio and each possible ratio and returns the one with the smallest difference to make sure that resultant stuff is of good quality. And then we have this dynamic pre-process. This function dynamically pre-processes an image by resizing it to a target size while maintaining its aspect ratio again width to height ratio. It splits the resized image into multiple patches or title tiles based on the target aspect ratio and returns these patches. So this is one is pretty standard. Then this is a load image to load an image applies a transformation pipeline created by the previous build transform function. And then it also uses that and dynamic pre-process which I showed you above. Once that's done, there is a get index function that is calculating the indexes of frames to extract from a video based on the video's frame rate, duration, and a specified number of segment. And then it just simply returns a list of indexes. And then we have this get num frames. This function is calculating the number of frames to extract from um, a video based on its duration and then it is returning the calculated number of frames which is capped between 128 and 512. Similarly, the load video is similar to what we saw in load image. This is loading a video, extracting frames at specified indexes and then pre-processing each frame using that dynamic pre-process function as we saw earlier. So let me run it to define these functions. And now let's try to see it in action. So all here I'm doing, I'm just setting some configuration with the hyperparameters to control the output. I am giving it the path to this local video and this is what the video looks like. I generated it with AI model for as part of my another video. It is just a cat on top of a hill. There are some mountains in the background. Okay, so let's see what happens here i'm just going to minimize it and then we are just using this um, um, torch without any gradient accumulation and i'm asking it to describe this video tokenizer is encoding the input and then model is generating the output and we are decoding it back and predicting it out so let's run it okay and it has given us an error let me quickly go down and check what happened i think i needed to i forgot to install one package Okay, so I spent some time. It seems that the issue was not with the packet because I thought maybe I installed the wrong version of Transformers, but that was fine. The issue was here. So the code which they have provided, it is using this data type for the model, which is incompatible with the input. So what I did, I have commented this out and I just used this where I am using this input type. Uh, so I have converted the input to the same data type as a model's bias, which is half using the two method. And then if you see here, now this time it has given me the answer that the video features a single fluffy cat with a mix of white and tabby markings. That is quite good. There are tabby markings, of course. If you, I'll just play it here too. There are tabby markings. 
and then it says standing on a rocky surface a cat's fur is predominantly white with brown and black stripes and it has a bushy tail the background reveals a breathtaking landscape of rolling hills and mountains under a clear blue sky the lighting is natural and bright suggesting it's daytime the cat appears to be in the relaxed posture with one paw slightly raised as it if it's about to pounce or as in the mid the colors are vibrant with the greenery so pretty good so as usual i think uh, this has done quite well uh, even if you compare it to the previous version of intern wheel i believe this one is quite good so remember um, if you are trying to reproduce this just make sure you make this change in the code which they have provided in their hugging face repo so let's try out one more okay so in the next example i have just given it this video from my local system and i'm just asking to describe the video in detail let me run it and let's quickly check the vram consumption so it is consuming over 22 gig of vram and let me play the video for you it is just uh, from last year come to the channel this is just a sample video i i hope on channel and running it uh, this is just a you know a video as you can see so let's see what it does it takes a bit of a time but okay that is done as you can see it says the scene takes place in a room with neutral color palette primarily consisting of whites and grays the subject is seated in or front of a microphone suggesting a podcast or interview setting very nice behind the subject desk with computer monitor and all that stuff and the subject so i'm subject it appears to be wearing a dark colored hoodie the environment seems to be an office or home study room. The overall ambience is a calm and quiet, suitable for a discussion or monologue. The video frame shows no significant change in the subject's position or background, indicating a continuous take without cuts or added. This one is really outstanding. I think this one really um, matches with what they said around that new feature which i discussed with you around lrc i think this takes it to the next level so that's it let me know what do you think i'm quite impressed by the model but very keen to hear your thoughts if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching